I'm here to talk about this little work and the artist who made it, Ibrahim El Salahi. El Salahi was born in Sudan in Africa in 1930, and he is one of the great pioneering artists of 20th century African art. He was the first African artist to have a retrospective at Tate Modern, and in 2018, he had an exhibition here at the Ashmolean Museum. And his work combines Arabic and African and European elements. As a young boy, he was brought up in his father's Muslim school and there learnt the art of Arabic calligraphy. But then as a student, he studied in London at the Slade School of Art and was introduced to the Western canon there. Throughout his life, Salahi has had various moments in which he has found himself isolated or confined. And at these moments, he's found ways of using his art to help confront and overcome these challenges. In the 1970s, Salahi was imprisoned for six months without trial in the infamous Koba prison in Sudan, having been wrongfully accused of attempting to overthrow the dictator, Jafar Namari. While in prison, he would use the paper from the bags that his food was brought in and the stubs of pencils to make drawings which he then hid from his guards in the floor of the cell. And indeed, he left his drawings there when he left the prison. But motifs from his time in prison have played a role throughout his life and career. Later, when El Salahi first moved to London, he found himself in a tiny studio, but used this constriction and restriction as an artistic provocation, starting drawings on a single sheet of paper and then allowing them to grow sheet by sheet wherever the drawing took him, developing in this way a, a new intuitive organic way of working, which with his devout Sufi Muslim faith, he linked to the, the idea of himself as a conduit through which his art flowed. And this little work, though, comes from more recent times. Now an old man and in his 90s, Salahi occasionally suffers from chronic back pain when he finds himself confined to either his bed or his armchair. And during these times, he found himself drawn to the different textures and qualities of the scraps of paper and card that he found around him, whether envelopes or, as here, the little pillboxes through in which his medication came. And so he used these found pieces of paper, envelopes, pillboxes, to develop drawings on. And also, at the same time, the very process of drawing became a meditative process, and one which in itself, in a prayer-like meditative way, helped relieve his pain. Salahi's talked about these little drawings that have grown again organically from on these found pieces of paper as seeds. And he's subsequently used many of them to, to become larger works. And indeed, at the museum, we recently showed one of the large works that stemmed from this particular seed, a large silkscreen print based on this intricate and involved little drawing. <laughs> 